And the Nigeria Customs Service has seized a large consignment of expired foodstuff in River State. The seizures were made public during a visit by the Comptroller General of Customs, Hamid Ali, to Area 2 Command in Onne. Correspondent Uche Okoro reports. From January to date, customs at the Onne airport says it has seized 87 containers valued at around 1.2 billion naira. The items which were either prohibited or falsely declared imports include processed tomatoes, vegetable oil and roofing tiles. But the Controller General was particularly alarmed about the importation of expired rice and alcoholic drinks amongst others. The ongoing partial closure of land borders across four geopolitical zones in the country has led to increased desperation by smugglers who are now diverting their activities to our seaports. The breakdown of the seizures are as follows. 11 containers of expired rice, totally in the sum of 102.3 million naira. Nine containers of expired vegetable oil and jam, worth the sum of 117.6 million naira. One container of expired baby wipers, with a total value duty paid of 9 million. Customs allayed fears that these seized contraband and harmful items may find their way into the Nigerian market. As soon as we intercept, we destroy such a thing. But if you want, I'm sure the air controllers are listening, if you want at any destruction that you will be willing to be part of it, we will ask you to be part of it so that you can tell uh, the, world. The, the world that uh, it's, it's to our own advantage too. So we we'll love that and I uh, will crave your indulgence to please be part of this. If we are destroying anything at any given time, we will invite you so that you can also expose that to, to, to the world. So, but the bottom line is that we destroy all substances that are not meant, are not good for any human consumption. Drugs, uh, poultry products, expired rice like this and expired uh, other countrymen. We destroy them. So, but we will bring you, carry you on board so that you help us also tell the world. On the timing of the closure of land borders, the customs boss said that would serve as a catalyst for growth in local manufacturing and infrastructure development. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Oneh.